I grabbed the little leftover newspaper off the round table to cover the shit on the bench. It took everything I had not to show how aggravated I was. With slight attitude, I asked, so what's up? I don't talk in my car, Midnight whispered. You never know who's listening in. I laughed. Either he had lost his mind in the last four days or he was just telling a joke. Everything is fun and games for you, Winter, huh? I got serious then, too. I wasn't going to let him make me feel like a child. So, what's all the luggage for? Are you going somewhere? Yeah, I'm leaving. Going where? I was horrified. That's my business. All you need to know is I'm out of here. No, that's not all I need to know. I said, standing up. I need to know what the fuck is up. Santiago said you had his money and it should be obvious by now that I need to have it. I talked to Santiago. He said, he knows what happened. The money is gone. Even the money he put aside for situations like this is gone. Somebody he trusted double-crossed. The way I see it, he got raided by the street niggas, and he got raided by the authorities. The authorities uncovered shit nobody but family should have known. Now niggas is turning state's evidence on Santiago. The shit is bad, real bad. Well, let me ask you something, Midnight. How come you get away smelling like you ain't had shit to do with nothing? How come everybody else is behind bars and you cruising around in your damn Acura like your shit don't stink? Because I'm smart. I figured this day would come and I planned for it. Nothing good lasts too long. I never did no talking to anybody. I never kept no shit in my place. You can't be in this business yapping off at the mouth like a woman. Half the evidence they got on niggas is niggas telling on themselves over the phone and in their car. The feds is listening in, clocking niggas, recording shit, straight up snooping. Niggas running around buying too much shit with no reasonable cover to explain where it came from. Flashing, making a scene. Stupid shit. But a man can't tell another man what to do. You can't even teach a man how to humble himself if he don't want to. Every man got to do it his way. I did it my way. It worked out for me. That's it. You trying to say you a better man than my father? I asked tears running down my face nah nothing like that he said your father's a smart man I learned a lot from him sometimes a man as smart as your father can see everything and everybody else but he can't see himself your father was a shark but sometimes he let women influence him to make moves he knew he shouldn't make women are you referring to my mother for the most part, he said in such a cool way I wanted to kill him. Did Midnight know about Dulce all along? Had he met with Santiago in Dulce's apartment the same way he met with Santiago in my house? What other secrets was he keeping?